In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use Typeform Logic to create dynamic and personalized forms that respond to your users' inputs in real time. This feature is a game changer for creating surveys, quizzes, or any form where you want to guide your respondents through a tailored path based on their responses. So let's dive in and see how you can harness the power of logic in Typeform to enhance your forms. First things first, head over to the Typeform survey website. It's the starting point for everything we're about to do. Once there, you're going to need to log into your account, look for the login button and click on it. Typeform offers various methods for logging in, but for simplicity's sake, we'll use the Google option today. Go ahead and click on Google, then choose the account you want to use. If you're already logged into your Google account, this should be a breeze. Once you're logged in, it's time to navigate to your workspace. This is where all your Typeform magic happens. You'll find all the forms you've created listed here. If it's your first time, don't worry, Typeform's interface is super user friendly and you'll find your way around in no time. Within your workspace, identify the form you want to add logic to and click on it. This will take you into the form's editing interface. Now look for the logic tab. It's here that you will begin the actual process of making your form smarter and more interactive using Typeform's logic features. Upon entering the logic editing area, your first task is to select the question you want to start with. This is the question that, based on the respondent's answer, will dictate what they see next in the form. Click on the first question you want to apply logic to. Next we're going to add a rule. Look for the add rule button and click on it. This is where the fun begins. Rules are the if-then statements that guide your form's logic. For instance, if a respondent answers A, then show them question X. It's that simple yet powerful. After clicking add rule, you'll need to choose the first option or condition for this rule. This could be a specific answer to your question that triggers a particular action, like moving the respondent to a different part of the form. Speaking of actions, the next step is to decide which page the respondent should be routed to based on their answer to the first question. This allows you to create a unique path through the form for different users, depending on their inputs. Select the page you want the rule to lead to, but why stop at one rule? To make your form even more dynamic, click on Add Rule again. This time, select the second option or answer condition for your first question. Just like before, you'll need to decide where respondents who select this answer are directed within the form. Choose the appropriate page for this new rule. With your rules set up, don't forget to save your changes. Look for the Save button and give it a click. This will ensure all your hard work doesn't go to waste and your logic rules are applied to the form. Finally, to see your logic in action, navigate back to the Create section and click on the Play icon to preview your form. This is an important step as it allows you to test the logic paths you've set up and make sure everything flows as intended. And there you have it. By following these steps, you've added dynamic logic to your type form, creating a personalized and interactive experience for your respondents. Remember the beauty of Typeform's logic feature lies in its flexibility and the creative freedom it offers you to design forms that truly engage and respond to your audience. Don't be afraid to experiment with different logic paths and rules. The more you play around with it, the more you'll uncover its potential to transform your forms from simple questionnaires into interactive journeys tailored to each user. Happy form building!